Now, every good project has a few good things that really go for it, besides the tokenomics, that is. It's their solid team, the geniuses behind any fantastic project. It's the backers that, well, essentially took that leap of faith to believe in the project early on and the partnerships that the team ends up fostering over time. Now, remember the project that I told you guys about last week, Kana Labs? If that rings a bell, here is their team, their backers and the partners that these guys have been building for a while now. Now they have an entirely docs team. If you go run through this entire list, you can see everyone from top management all the way down to their developers, their designers, everyone is actually listed in their about us section, which is great. Now, starting off with their CEO, Mr. Subramaniam, followed by the CTO and co-founder as well, Mr. Ramanujam. And then you have their head of business dev, which is Surbi Singh. You have their head of APAC and marketing, and the list goes down into their test engineers, the senior engineers, the developers, their designers, and eventually the head of products. Now, you can click on these links individually and check them out for yourself, but let's just go ahead and check out the CTO and the CEO of Kana Labs. Now, it says from his bio here that he's from Chennai, India. He's the co-founder at Kana Labs, and a quick about us over here reveals that he has over two decades worth of experience in the financial sector and the forex markets. Now, this has obviously led him to naturally progress into a blockchain and the crypto space, which is great. I've heard a bunch of different stories like that, that, you know, individuals that actually gone to traditional finance first and then realize, you know, the importance or the significance of DeFi and eventually ended up progressing into it. And then moving on is Mr. Ramanujam. Let's look him up as well. Now, Mr. Ramanujan, I found quite interesting because he's currently the CTO of a few different companies, which is great. It just showcases his vibrance and his affiliation to various different projects. It gives him a wider perspective in being able to develop things simultaneously, which is wonderful. Now, in his about a section, it says that he's a technology enthusiast with over 22 years of experience in application development and software architecture. Now, moving on, one of the most important things as well is the backers. The actual lot that, you know, got into the project or, you know, had that conviction in the project to actually put in the initial investment. Let's check them out and actually have a look at who this particular project is involved with. Now, some of the investors that actually got into investing into Khan Labs is Marvel X, Nexus One, Clayton, and Gate IO, among a few other companies. Now, Khan Labs did also receive a grant quite recently from the Aptos blockchain for their smart wallet solutions. Now, lastly, is their partners, and keep in mind these are partnerships that they've been fostering over time in order to simply better what they currently have and using other platforms to enhance what they are currently working on. Now, we can see they have a little write up in their R partner. Partner section where it says at Khan Labs we work to demystify and simplify the Web3 space right from the onboarding process to navigating the complex Web3 world. Now let's actually dive into who some of these particular partnerships are. From the list over here you can see that we have Aconia which is essentially a trading infrastructure provider and an on-chain order book platform from the Aptos ecosystem. Then moving on you have Ethos X which is a decentralized finance platform creating end-to-end -end financial derivatives on blockchains. And finally, TradingView, we're all familiar with that. We have partnered with TradingView for its widgets, a comprehensive trading platform offering valuable market insights and real-time market data. Now, Kana Labs managed to raise $2 million from the investors I just mentioned. And keep in mind, a lot of that money is actually going to go to good use, such as development of their smart wallet and enhancements to their middleware toolkits. Now, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys when it comes to Kana Labs. I want to show you guys the amount of potential that this particular project has. They've made sure to keep their head down and consistently build in this particular space while allowing their products to actually do the speaking. If you did like this video, guys, do make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Do make sure to comment in the comment section below and let me know if you guys want to see more videos just like this about Kana Labs. And as usual, I'll see you in my next video.